Hello, welcome back. It's June here. I have a few cards to show you from this month's Creative Stamping Magazine, which is issue 56. I'll just put this to one side. In this month's issue, there are plenty of examples on how the designer design team have used the fabulous free stamps. Um, the stamp set is by Joanna Sheen I, and ideal for those tricky mail cards that we struggle with at times. Craftstash have a fantastic offer on too. They are offering the coordinating dies for Joanna's sports stamp set for only £7.98p and that's while stock, stocks last. It's really an excellent offer. There's also um, giveaways and information on new products and a short interview with Joanna Sheen. So I'll put that to one side and I'll show you these fabulous stamps which covers much um, a lot, I should say, of um, different sports where we have uh, bowler, cricketer, basketball, darts, 10 pin bowling, <clears throat> snooker. Um, there's something here for the ladies with the sports bag. Um, what else? Hockey, tennis, a bike and some good um, sentiments and individual uh, words to use as well. It's an A4 um, sheet and the stamps are excellent. I have made three cards. The one that um, you first saw and this is what I'm going to make again today using the tennis racket and the tennis ball. I've also made a slider card uh, stamped, let's get these stamps back out, <clears throat> excuse me. I've used the um, trainers and just uh, stamped a background using three different colours and then I've made a slider card oh and my wheel has just moved there um, I stamped the bike die cut it and coloured it in slightly and then made this slider card I haven't done anything uh, to the inside of the, the card yet and the sentiment I've used is the one from the stamp set still going strong. That's that card <clears throat> and then this one um, obviously <laughs> for a darts enthusiast and then when you open it we have the dartboard and I've used some of the wording here, have a double top birthday. And I've created um, sort of a brick, a brick wall there. And you slip that back in. I've got magnets holding these tags down. So the card lies flat, ideal for posting. And the products that I've used, I will be using, and there are quite a lot, I used, this was on the uh, slider card and the dartboard one, a selection of pro markers. 
still the pen, paint pen. Distress ink in ground espresso. Stays on, jet black. We've got Adirondack in ca uh, cranberry, denim and lettuce. They were on the two other cards. I used my blending tool um, and I didn't re-ink the sponges because I had enough on for this card. But when I edged the around the edge of the um, sentiment, I did re ink it using warm lipstick and that's the Distress Oxide. I also used for the inside of the dartboard card, I used this clarity brush, massive but excellent quality, and just dabbed it after I'd created the bricks. Um, I just dabbed it in the ground espresso and gently went over the card. This is quite heavy as well. So I can put that out of the way before I cause damage with it. Um, this is a slider set and where it's come from I've no idea so I apologise for that. <coughs> But I used the straight slider die for the um, push bike. And there. Tags I've used. I've used that, that size. And this is the um, frames and tag stitch flags by Creative Expressions. And my stamping platform. So I think if we just make some space and what I'm going to do when I um, make this card again is I'm going to use the ink dusters for those of you who like a more softer background. We're going to do it um, with those and preferably if I have wilted violet out as well so excuse me one more and there we are and I've got a very squeaky chair still so put those there so I've started um I prepared the card and it's a five by seven card and I've got two mats of kind of a dusty pink and a very, very pale lilac. Um, and depending on what light you see it in, it can look grey, but it isn't a grey card. Inside I've just stamped the tennis racket and coloured that in. And I'll leave the sentiment until I know who I'm going to send it to. So it's a 5 by 7 card. And I've gone down in eighth of an inch increments and then we have the top card in white so if I start now with the background and using worn lipstick and you know with these uh, ink dusters you don't have to have a different uh, duster for all the different inks. You can use one end for pinks, as I'm going to do. Um, there's no contamination. So load your brush, dab, and then just brush it over your card. And you should see the, the difference already. Obviously, to get something a little heavier, just re-ink your brush and carry on like this until you achieve the colour that you're wanting. And now to the wilted violet. Oh, 
Go with your brush, dab, and add the colour. And I think that is fine for me. So there is a big difference there. Right, we can put those to one side. I've been working on another card, well it's an album actually, this morning with magnets and you have to be so careful and <laughs> the magnets I was using have shot these <laughs> to underneath the stamping platform how they've done that I've no idea right with the tennis racket there's already a tennis ball attached to it and some lines as you can hopefully see there. What I will do as well is go around the outline of the tennis ball with um, either a pencil or a soft grey pen pencil um, just to highlight that a bit more. It looks a little lost there. So you can cut that off. I'm not going to just in case I cut into the tennis racket. Um, to play safe if you want you can block that uh, tennis ball off until you want to use it so I'll do that now just with a little bit of masking tape put that there just remember if you do get some ink on it to take it off before you stamp so we'll place one there close I also stamped this in the ground espresso which is not quite as severe as um, using a black ink so stamp that you see I've caught it so I'll bin that Another piece on and re, re ink. That's better. Clean the stamp. I just use the baby ones for that. Right, I'm still going to blank that until I get the racket stamped. We do it. For the tennis ball, I'm just using the um, blunt end of a Pro Marker in 
gold. I thought it was that. Colour that. Oh, now that's a much better um, impression than on my first card because you can actually see sort of those lines um, stitching, whatever it is. I'm pleased with that. And then I'm going to use the, the darker blue than what I did on that card and this one is as you the one I did use was powder blue that's one of my favorite colors the powder blue and you just do some light strokes lovely take that off Okay, so I used the pointed end of the Pro Marker just to go carefully, she hopes, around the outline of the racket. spoke too soon. I've just gone off slightly but it looks okay. Don't forget that little bottom bit and then you do that. I don't think there's any need to um, Go for sort of highlights or dark areas on this particular design. Then we'll keep with this blue. gone really over that line there so if I was sending this to someone I wouldn't <clears throat> I wouldn't send it like that um what I would do would be to cut out the two tennis rackets create the same background on another card and um add those to the new card so that's now ready to go on there. I'm undecided whether to put it on or not now with it being like that. I'll go ahead. I'll do it. So I'm just using some wet glue. blues come through onto the back but that isn't a problem. What I'm surprised at is the red not showing. I would have thought that uh, that definitely would show. So we'll put that on there. Now I added sequins on this one but because I've used the distress inks I'll just put the lid on there, the top. I'm going to spritz this now with water from a distance. And 
that should start to lift some of the colour. Yes, I really like the effect on, of that. I hope you can see that. Just going to do a little bit more. You tend to get, or I tend to get carried away with this when I'm using the oxidings. I love them. Yes, you can see that a little bit better now. So I'll keep that. And then I didn't use any of the stamps for the Have an Ace birthday. I just typed it. On the other two cards, Darts, Champ and where's the other? Oh, and the dart, the single dart there. I did use these stamps from the set. And I did for still going strong um, but I wanted this in a definite straight line so I typed it and um, die cut and embossed it I've added some mounting foam on the back distressed the edge with warm lipstick you'll take the backing off and if I should do that Yes, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put this here at an angle as opposed to putting it at the bottom. There you are. We have the tennis racket inside. The original card and that one. And then the slider card and the darts card. And you see what I've done? I've just smudged that. That's touching the distressing. I can repair that. As soon as I switch the video off here, I'll do that. So thank you once again for joining me. Thank you for spending time with me. And until the next video, bye.